I was looking at an article of the greatest supergroups of all time. And I think this was the only one on the list that I hadn't reacted to, so I thought it's probably about time. If you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have just released a cover of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. It is out on Spotify, here on YouTube and on Apple, and I'd love if you could take a look and let me know what you think. That's a nice voice. Nice. The piano playing as well. So this is Paul Rogers, formerly of Free. We've got guitarist Mike Ralphs from Matt the Hoople. I don't actually know that band. We've got Simon Kirk, also of Free, and bassist Boz Burrell, formerly of King Crimson, and Peter Grant, who managed Led Zeppelin, managed this band as well. Uh, so we've got some some star some star vocals here, and um, this was inspired by a book on Victorian morals um, that had an illustration of a of a kind of raggedy person and a choir boy seeing saying beware of bad company so that's what the whole song and then they were inspired by as their name they named i think themselves after this song this was a song they just put together that's not a So with these runs, I would say that this is very much blues rock. You can hear the all those little runs on pentatonic scales um, are generally coming uh, come from a blues background, and there's um, that kind of hard rock arena rock, but with an extra blues edge, which I'm really really enjoying. I really enjoy the piano in this as well. is It's very kind of atmospheric with a little bit of like classical in there, so it's quite a lot of mix of genres uh, going on. His vocals sound so easy, and that distortion at the top, oh boy, that just gets you, doesn't it? Let's run. It's those held top notes, wow. Here's annoying me. Okay, before we get into the solo, I really want to hear that properly. Um, this came about, um, he also wanted it to have like a spaghetti western type of feel and I think that's definitely been achieved. I could see this as a soundtrack to a movie with a guy like, uh, that looked a bit modern, but like walking, walking around with his cowboy hat on. Um, I really 
think it's interesting because he when he did the the actual record for this he went to go and uh, stand under the moonlight and recorded under the moonlight to get the right feeling for it so he obviously really likes to embody it's a bit method acting isn't it trying to embody the feeling of a song and at that it comes across like it feels so natural it feels so um easy in his voice it um, the the resonance in his voice in that higher mix is there's something that is both comforting and also punches you in the face <laughs> i guess kind of like a like a spaghetti western So like you could hear on and on we ride, no distortion, but then he adds that little edge and it just, it's so nice how much control he has because it's so, it's kind of delicate uh, when he puts it on. Keep on stopping because he's doing so many cool things. Okay, on right. He didn't do like right, like I just didn't hit it dead on. What made it feel like a lot is that he scooped up and he gave it a bit of a bit of cry. So if you're like, oh no, that sort of feeling um, in your voice, you'll hear, you'll feel that this kind of um, a narrowing. You don't want that to come from your neck or your tongue, but you you'll feel it. Oh no. Right. And then he adds that vibrato on as he falls down at the end. Ah, on that bottom note. Super bluesy, super uh, emotional. Yeah, All those skips. Yeah, yeah. And it's all the feels. distortion Woo! yeah I'm so glad I listened to this so good well thank you to the article I loved that that was so fun and for me this might not be the same for everyone but there's certain music that gives me very strong visual imagery I have 
borderline synesthesia on a lot of music. I really see imagery in my head um, a lot of the time and colours and things like that. Um, but I feel like he, this really just, I had the image of the spaghetti western, I had all these colours, I had all these like browns and reds and uh, pinks actually coming out of it and it's such a beautiful uh, a beautiful image and I think that this sort of music well I think a lot of you will probably feel the same way thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye